Hello, hello. Newman Newman282 here, and welcome to Let's Play Lost in Random. Uh, I've been wanting to do this game for a while, ever since it came out last year, but I've, of course, had other games in my playscape, and I needed a secondary game to play alongside uh, in Sound Mind, which I'm loving, by the way, but I think this is going to be perfect. It was between this and Ghostwire Tokyo, and as much as I wanted to do Ghostwire, and because it's a newer game, I really wanted to kind of hop on it while it's trending, it's just one of those games that it's going to take really long time, and I want that to be my, my my primary. So I think after I finish in Sound Mind, we may switch to Ghostwire for the main month. This will be my Wednesday upload. So let's get into it. I'm excited. I already love the audio and everything in this game. So it's already really cool. The aesthetic is very Tim Burton-esque. So, ooh, I'm excited. Also, this is my first uh, video of the new house. So. In a land you Yay. might remember from your dreams, the power of randomness was celebrated by all. Those with dice would roll them to shape their destinies, and the bravest few would challenge each other in games of chance, epic tournaments, in which their very lives would hang in the balance. Okay, it's like D&D &D kind of thing. Oh. Get the dice energy, okay. Let's get that energy fortune. Oh. Oh, damn, okay. Okay. Roll, okay. Fun, interesting. That little poke did it. Why'd you throw it so high? That was in the era of the dice wielders. Like all eras, it too would come to an end. Could have just tossed it into lightly. Legend and mystery. We could have saved her. That's all I'm saying. No tea, no shade, but put in some more work. <laughs> okay. All right. I don't know why I'm making weird faces. Our story begins later, in Wancroft, a small village populated entirely by people who have never once been dealt a fair hand. Okay. Attention, Warners! I am the Queen, and my dark dice will decide your fate. Random rules! See that, Bernard? You're a sixer. Oh, wow! I'm gonna live in the Queen's Dream Palace for the rest of my- <laughs> nuh -uh, you're a dirty three, doomed to a life of fighting and misery. That's cheating! Well, so is having an almighty dice, snake guy. <laughs> Stop, you guys. Wrap this up. We should really get going. It's just a game, sis. Even I promised Mom and Dad to get you home. The Queen! Come on, hurry up! Now we really have to run! This is cute. I love the art style so much. Kind of reminds me of uh, 
Alice Madness Returns, and I love that game. Another game we'll be doing on the channel eventually. Oh wait, hold on. Our names are even and odd? Fantastic. Okay, we're not gonna go that. Okay, damn it. I hate games that don't let you jump. I don't hate games that don't let you jump, but I hate game mechanics. <laughs> I just tried to shoot that poor crying family. Ew. Random rules! Random rules! That's Nanny Fortuna. Works for the Queen. Kidnapping children for her. Kidnapping? And so the Queen decreed that any child who had reached the age of 12 would be given the grand honor of rolling her one true dance, which would reveal to them their place in the world of random. Check out this secret portal. Bring me all of the children. Uh, Door. Uh, an old clothes face. Nice work, Bernie. Let's go. For the Queen's wisdom is as wide as her power, which is infinite. It makes it very easy for all of you to do what she said. Since she is and ever shall be correct. And though you may feel a twinge of emotion when you watch your children lose to them. Ensure that you are feeling the correct emotion, which is joy. That is gorgeous. Joy. That the queen's plan for us is so grand. Joy that her one true dance has deigned to protect the fate of your offspring. And joy. Yes, joy. This is so pretty. Sorry, I've been like really quiet because I'm just kind of absorbing the world and getting used to it. Even odd, where have you been? We've been worried sick. I'm sorry, Dad. I tried to. There's no time. She'll be here any minute. Quick, get down. Happy birthday. Oh, even. And I got a present for you. It's so cute. Make a wish. Jesus. We did not have time to celebrate that cupcake. Well, that was friggin' rude. And the queen said, every child of 12 years shall throw this supreme dice, and so it was. For random is fair, random prevails, and random rules. Random rules. Be grateful, child, that the queen herself is here for your special day. Oh. oh, home girl from the beginning. Now roll the dice and let's see what kind of person you truly are. At least, she'll be a sixer. Even! Oh, no! Stop it! No, even. And so, Odd's destiny came to be living by the side of the queen. By the side? In the sixer's palace. Oh, it's a Where, it was said, all dreams came true. 
But Even's nightmare is just beginning. I mean, I guess that'd be nice. You know? She, like, at least got thrown into the rich people place. Sucks that she was almost a, well. <sighs> she was a one, but like, they're living in poverty. Wouldn't they want her to have a better life? I don't know. I'm torn. I'm coming for you, sis. Oh, spooky. Hold on, Odd. Is she a ghost? Is this supposed to tell me that Odd is dead? Odd! I'm, I'm gonna find you, okay? Tell me where you are, Odd! Help me find you! Odd! I'm, I'm here, sis! I'm coming, Odd! Odd! Oh, there you are! What's up, homegirl? Five Tropolis is a bustling city governed by the five card makers. Okay. So I guess I must be. I must. I'll eventually have to make my way up to. More than Sixtopia? a year passed since her sister had been taken away from her, and in all that time, even had never dreamed like that before. Are we, are we can match boxes. Even knew she was now awake and knew it was the same house she'd lived in her entire life. But what? something seemed off. Something seemed different. Hold on. Or Are they like simply that she had changed? Are they like the size of dice? A portrait of Uncle Jinx. It was said he'd sailed the seven seas and then drowned in the eighth. Huh. A painting of Aunt Cordelia. She could play every single musical instrument in Wancroft, which was impressive, but none of them well, which was markedly less impressive. <laughs> An image of great, great, great grandmother Waters. She was the woman who'd invented sliced bread, which made everyone very excited. Well, before then, they'd just taken great big bites out of loaves. An image of great-great-grandfather Peters. Two hundred years ago, he ate all his clothing to win a bet. Even supposed that was the reason this portrait stopped at the neckline. Fantastic. Oh, it was still very late. Or was it very early? And even didn't want to wake her parents. Even's father never told her stories. He preferred reality to fantasy. The physicality of hammers and nails to the ephemeral mists of dreams and fantasy. Even's mother had always painted, and she'd share with Even the stories she'd hidden in her paintings. Wonderful tales of daring heroines and dashing adventure. She told her never to share these stories with the outside world. These stories might upset the queen. She had eyes and ears everywhere. Odd shoes. Little parts of her life still dotted their house. We didn't make it a happy house, but that was fine by Even. She never wanted to forget her sister. Even's parents had locked the door securely, as they had every night since Odd was taken. These paintings showed stories Even's mother told her was safe to share, because they were true. Or so she said. Like the story of the card makers of Five Town, who'd suffered a horrible fate. Huh. 
The scariest painting Evan's mother had ever made was of the Shadow Man, a mysterious figure who'd gobble up children who ventured too far from home. Jesus. Evan was too old to believe in such stories. Or at least, that's what she told herself. I kind of like having a narrator. Hi, ghosty. That was rude. What if you're just like, I hey, dick, I'm not gonna help you find your sister now. Even stared at the toy, feeling the ground tilt beneath her. That was the exact same stuffed animal she'd given Odd on the night she was taken. Even knew her parents would be heartbroken when they woke and found her missing. But she had to go. She had to know. Her arms are too big for her body. Ooh. That's like I'm being told a nighttime that story. The figure seemed to keep its distance from even. When she got closer, it moved further away. It was leading her somewhere. Hi. Oof. Easy there, even. What are you doing out so darn late? You're running like the old witch Uma put a curse on you. Oh, darling, you're thinking about your sister, aren't you? I. Oh, she's been gone for a year? We time skipped? I need to get past you, Astro, ah, please. That spark in your eye tells me you're not fooling around. I remember being your age once, I do. And I know how important imagination <sighs> can seem. All right, all right, I'll get out of your way. But don't tell your parents you saw me. Deal? Bye! You're welcome, Thanks, Astrid, you're Steven. the best. And stay away from the outskirts. Something tells me I'm not gonna stay away from the outskirts. Bird is pissed. Please, wait up. Right, I can This sprint. was Wongroth, the world in which even and her small family live. Like all Wonners, they hauled junk for the cargo ships that came and went in the night. Oh my god. And this labor was done for reasons that were never clearly understood. The queen willed it, and no one would dare oppose her. And that was enough for everyone. Everyone, that is, except even. Come on, Burn, just hit it. It's right there. He's trying, Lucky. Oh, shucks. Now I'm all out of potatoes. <laughs> no breakfast tomorrow, and you couldn't. What are you doing here, anyway? Yeah, even. Are your parents yeah. letting you out after dark now? Honestly, even I gotta say, I'm impressed. I gotta say, never thought you had it in you to break a precious rule. Fuck you, Lucky. Don't be mean, Lucky. I'm not mean. That was a compliment. I think you're cool, even. Even if you should listen to your parents more. My parents say listening to them is the coolest thing of all. <laughs> you guys are. Bernard, so such touchy. a nerd. Let's bully him. Just kidding. We're playing. She was talking to me. I think she was talking to all of us. Oh, Even God, we're playing, Elgin. we're playing hit the pot with the potato, or rather, I'm playing. These two bloobs are just losing at bloobs. it. Bloobs. Okay. That pot? Whoa! Not bad, Even. I knew you could do it. Lucky shot. I'm not impressed. I could do that too if I wanted. No problem. <laughs> that was amazing, Even. Thanks. Hey, shut up. What are you doing here, anyway? Yeah, Even. 
Are you proud? Oh, I just. Oh, oh my God. You guys are so touchy. I couldn't sleep. My Mine's gonna get to roll the dice when it comes. I'm gonna be a sixer. I know it. I'll be saying, I'm not a bloob. I'm a star. My mom says so. My mom says so. I'm not a bloob so. either. Uh, what's a bloob? You getting a load of these bloobs even? Listen, even, it takes two to be a jack, one to be the jack, and the other to be an even bigger jack by pointing it out. What kind of logic? Okay. My sister became a sixer, and I don't think it worked out. Well, that's just her bad luck. Not the sort of thing I've ever had to worry about. Really? How come? Because my name is Lucky, and... He meant how come even things that didn't work out, Lucky? Yeah, not you, you dumb bitch. I think she might be sending me a message from Sixtopia. I was right about it being right. called Sixtopia. Like a sixer would ever care about a one -er. Please. It could happen. You don't know. You don't I think it sounds know. mysterious. I love mysteries. Have fun with your cool mystery, even. See you later. There was a lot of dialogue I missed there. Like... Go down there. This does not feel that much. I can't tell where I if I I don't want to technically be going the right way. I want to explore. Oh. Wasn't there another direction? Was there? Or am I making that up? Yeah, I can keep going down. Because that was a ladder I took. Oh, that's the way back to my home. We don't want to go back there. Exclamation point back behind me? No. What the hell? You seem like you're looking for something, right, kid. <laughs> ah, I thought I recognized you. Your odd sister, right? Did the big roll a year ago, if I recall? She's in the queen's can now, kiddo. There's nothing any of us can do. Ugh. And I think you should give up on her, even. Damn, She's Greta! She's a sixer now. Nobody ever comes back from that. Okay, you're really inspirational, Greta. Thanks for the advice. What a douche. Hey, but I want to go over there. Hey, there's the ghost. <gasps> there. You saw it, didn't you? There it was again. All right. Well, I know we haven't done much, but mainly just story stuff. I think this is a good place to leave off, though. Um, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, I can't not yawn. All I do is yawn. Thanks again <laughs> so much for watching, everybody. Um, as always, if you enjoyed today's content, please subscribe, like, and or comment on the video. Also, feel free to check out my TikTok instagram and twitter which are all listed below and then below that you'll find a link invite to the discord channel so come on in and join the community it's a lot of fun 
Uh, but thanks again, everybody. And uh, thank you for joining me in my first official Let's Play, my first official video in my new home. So yay me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thanks, everybody. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Got me out here looking for a creepy little girl. I already don't mess with children. Make them creepy? No, not happening.